This is our Earth Day report, and we're reporting on a very creative and cool project. It's called bluemarbles.org, and for its inspiration, it uses that iconic photograph of the Earth taken in 1972, and it's appropriately named Blue Marble. This is the Thank You Ocean Report. The ocean is the biggest feature of our planet, but it receives such a small amount of funding, awareness, protection effort. It, It doesn't match up. Jay Nichols is a research associate at the California Academy of Sciences, and he says he does many lectures and provides facts, and his presentations may be entertaining, but the importance of addressing issues related to the health of the ocean don't always stick. So it's trying to figure out a way to just make our efforts a little stickier, to get people to think about it at least one more time after the initial engagement. And came up with the idea of just giving everyone a blue marble. And that idea was born at a lecture he was giving a few years ago at the New England Aquarium. And I wasn't really sure what I, where it was going, but it, it seemed like a good idea. And people said, what's this for? And I said, just hang on to it. It's for you. And remember, Jay didn't really know what he was going to ask people to do with that blue marble. By the end of the lecture, it all came together because the last slide in the PowerPoint was that photograph of our planet taken in its entirety from space, and it's called the Blue Marble. And the message he came up with was pretty simple. Take the Blue Marble in your hand, share it with someone, and thank them for the work they're doing to take care of our planet, and ask them to do the same thing. In other words, pass it along. People emailed and called and sent photos and stories, which led me to set up a very simple blog to collect those stories and and share them with anybody who was interested. And so more and more marbles started going out to more and more people. And then people would say, hey, I've got an event. Can I get 100 marbles? And of course, that meant Jay needed to figure out how people could get blue marbles of their own. There's a place called Marble King in West Virginia that makes the last manufacturer left in the U.S. uh, of marbles. And we've, we've been buying all of their blue marbles. They're made out of recycled glass, by the way. People are just having a really good time thanking each other for the work we're all doing and passing these marbles along. Now, here's where the impact of passing along something that symbolizes a powerful image gets really interesting. That blue marble photograph is the most reproduced photograph ever. So people are reminded fairly regularly of their blue marble which reminds them of who gave them their blue marble and who they gave their blue marble to. And it's a, it's a very sticky idea. You can't stop it. It just keeps going. So there are about a million blue marbles out there. And each of those marbles moves through countless numbers of other hands. And some of them have found their way to people like Jane Goodall, Sylvia Earle, James Cameron, Harrison Ford. They just get passed along. And if you want to participate, there are no rules, except the marble has to be blue. You need to give it away and add your story to the bluemarbles.org blog. My thanks to Jay Nichols. If you want to learn more about what we're doing, please visit thankyouocean.org on the web or check us out on our Facebook page. I'm Jerry Kay.